Hello everyone! Thanks for joining us again at Comic Book Corner. I'm your host GearUp260 and I have an amazing treat for you guys. I finally got back the Silver Age submission that was sent out two months ago. It's right here in this beautiful box and it's all amazing Spider-Mans. It's all Silver Age and they all have the beautiful ASM custom label, or the Spider-Man custom label, I should say. The Skyline. And this thing for, took forever to arrive, man. Forever. I don't know why. It got held up at customs. And uh, there was multiple delays, hurricane stuff, weather, I don't know, man. I finally made it. So, some of these belong to uh, a few people in the community, but most of them are mine. I'm so excited. I uh, hadn't sent in these Spideys. Um, I mean, I've had them for like probably 25 years. And I finally decided to get some of them graded so I could have at least the first, I don't know, 30 or 40 graded now. So that's pretty cool. All right. Um, I don't know if I should open all of them or just go. We'll go batch by batch. Where is my paper? Let's see. Mm, I don't have it here. So we're going to go by memory. Uh, see if I can remember whose books these were. Yeah, I'm not going to remember. Maybe those are JFs. These are Anders. Okay. So, we have... <clears throat> sorry about that. We have Amazing Spider-Man 45. That is the first appearance of... Third appearance of the Lizard. And I think it's the first... No, that's it. Third appearance of the Lizard. Lizard. Uh, pretty cool. 5.0. And uh, this one belongs to Ander. Then we have... Amazing Spider-Man 59, the first cover appearance of Mary Jane. This one belongs to JF. Congrats on that. I believe this also, number 56, belongs to JF as well. Then we have number 43, which is a uh, first appearance of the Rhino. And it says first full appearance of Mary Jane Watson. Wow, okay, nice. Um, then we have Amazing Spider-Man 32, second appearance of Dr. Curtis Connor, Kurt Connors. Wow. Damn, man. Nice. I think those are all, um, JFs. Congrats, JF, on those. Let me put those there for you. Oh, the second bundle's a little bigger here. Oof. Maybe some of my books. Ooh, all right. I see one purple label. Uh-oh. Okay. Um, here's a nice one. I think this is one of mine. Uh, second appearance of Kingpin. First Kingpin cover. Very nice. Very happy with a 7.0. Wow. Yeah. Pretty good. And then we have first appearance, cover appearance of uh, Mary Jane. Again, 7.0, really happy with that. Wow, yep, 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 yep. I remember this book, man. I had to remove the staples to press it. Came out pretty nice. Came out pretty nice. This one here is a little bit of a disappointment because came back purple label. The grade is pretty good, 2.5 actually. is pretty good for a book that we didn't press or clean or anything because it was quite fragile. I think there was a detached sta staple. Uh, but what can what really sucks is color touch on the cover, giving it a restored label. And it's just because a little bit of green was colored in right there, man. 
Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Man, it doesn't take much to get a restored label. Yeah. All right. Let's keep going. This is the second appearance of the lizard in a 6.5. Again, that's going back into my PC. Wow, man, I can't believe it. Some really nice grades. Here we have uh, Amazing Spider-Man 46, first appearance of the Shocker. Not bad in a 5.5. Happy with that. Man, not bad for books I picked up uh, ages ago. Um, wow, ASM 49. I think I paid $20 for this book. Wow, man. 8.0. Damn. Pretty good. I think that's the highest grade I got. Then we have Amazing Spider-Man 40. Origin of the Green Goblin. Pretty cool. 3.0. Not too bad. Not too bad. Then we have the first Rhino. Oh, I said 43 was the first Rhino, but first Prince of Rhino is the 41. Sorry, I got mixed up on those. So pretty good. 5.0 was expecting a little higher on this one, but I guess those color breaks along the spine don't help because here we have the second appearance and it's a 6.0. So a full grade higher just because there's no color breaks on the book. Uh, the rest of the book physically looks very, very, very similar. Just this one has a better spine. So hold two grades higher. And then we have this book that I'm really happy with. Uh, picked this one up. Um, while Oh no, this one is not mine. No, I can't. This is Anders. Wow. I was going to say, wait a minute. I already have one of these. This is Anders, man. Wow. Yeah, he picked this up on eBay, I believe. And 5.5 is pretty awesome for this black cover with multiple color breaks. I'm really surprised they gave that a 5.5. Good for you, Anderman. And here we have the last bundle. They bundled them up in threes. Let's see what we got here. All right. Oof. Looks like there's a green label too. Oh boy. Ah, oh, that's one of mine. I ended up with a green label. All right, let's see what else we got here. This is awesome. ASM 38. Uh, yeah, that's one of my books. I can't believe I got a 7.0 on this one. That's a second cameo appearance of Mary Jane Watson. Face still not shown. So 7.0, man. It matches my other Mary Jane Watson covers, I think. Um, what did I get on that? Her cover appearance. Yeah, 7 0, man. Nice. So, matches the cover appearance. I like that. They're all in the 7 range. This one, too, really surprised me. At a 6.5. Third appearance of the Green Goblin, man. Wow. Wow. Um, honestly, very, very, very happy with the grades so far. This, sorry, is the only disappointment. There's a panel missing from page 16. I never noticed that when I purchased the book. And I didn't notice it, man, when I sent it into CGC for grading. Wow. I have to try to find another copy of Amazing Spider-Man 25. Next, we have this beauty. Pretty good. 6.5 for Amazing Spider-Man 26. Um... First appearance of Patch and the Crime Master. I don't think it's Patch Wolverine. Must be another Patch. <laughs> All right. Um, not bad. 6.5. Wow. Again, very happy with that grade. Then we have ASM 30. Also, first appearance of the Cat Burglar. And that is uh, 5.0. Very happy with that as well. Oh, wow. Nice, man. Very, very nice. This is Anders as well. Congrats on that, man. 8.5, first appearance of uh, the Prowler, man. Very, very cool. 8.5, I think that was an eBay purchase as well from Anders. Oh, wow. All right.
right, so next we have, oh, another one for Ander, ASM 63. I think he got that one from me. Not bad, 4.0, man. That's better than I was expecting. And then ASM 36 at a 3.0. That one as well, I think he got from me. And ASM 61, wow, 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 wow. I was not expecting this one to hit a 5.5. I'm really, really, really surprised, man. First Gwen Stacy cover and Kingpin appearance. Wow. This book was trashed when I got it. Like, trashed. And, uh, wow. I'm, I'm really shocked. Shocked that I got a 5.5. All right. Very happy with that. And then we have SM18. Again, first appearance of Ned Leeds. And it's the Fantastic Four, Sandman appearance, Daredevil, Avengers cameo, all in this wonderful issue at a 4.0, man. Wow. Yeah. Very, very, very happy with all the results, except that green label, you know, SM25. But uh, overall, man, couldn't be happier. I'm going to put these all back into my PC and then, you know, let everybody else know what they got on their books. Hopefully they're seeing this video. And uh, thanks again for joining. We will be receiving some more books this week. Finally, man, they're trying, uh, they're starting to trickle in. And I hope you guys come back for our next unboxing. Thanks for joining us again. Please like and subscribe.